Alright, well, another part of the song acquired. A report, Master. The volcanic activity that impeded your return to the sky earlier has ceased. It is now possible to return to the sky again. Well done, Master. You have acquired the second part of the Song of the Hero. The final part can be found somewhere within fi- <laughs> Within a freaking ferret woods! Gosh darn it! My goodness! Well, let's go up the thing. That's what we'll do. Let's go to Farron Woods. I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying your ice cream there. Guzma and such. When was the last time I had? I had any. It's been a little while. It might well have been. I'm so tired. I was looking at the layout on OBS and I thought that those goals over there were like bugging out at first. Like, and were like extending. Ah! But my nose. Um, like a super far black bar from them. But no, that was just the game being weird and stuff. Can I make this? Can I make the... Ah! No! When was the last time I even made one of those? Feels like it's been 3,000 years since I even made one. Uh, I suck at this game. I suck at this game. Should I heal up? Should I maybe heal up? I first... I first... I... I I, my brain is so muddled after streaming for like 18 hours now. My goodness, I appreciate the follow there, John Arizona. Maybe I should heal up really quickly. Maybe I should have dropped in front of the Knights Academy for that. But yeah, this is a really good stream. Well, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you're enjoying the shenanigans here where I think I'm queued up for like another hour of sunglasses. Um, and then maybe we can go back to playing, no well, not normally. Not normally, that, that's not happening. We never play like normally, normally, but... <laughs> You know, you know, there's that. Yeah, let's go into our little, into our little thing Bob over here. Because I think, I wonder if the return to Farron Woods marks, um, in Prison 3. I wonder, especially when he's playing Skyward Sword with a shotgun rifle. It's the most optimal way to play Skyward Sword, let me tell you. Totally the most optimal way to do that. Only watch streamers use the Wii Remote Rifle. Let's sleep until morning. I mean, a freaking mad lads who donate to help benefit Larch, a not-for-profit which helps those with developmental disabilities, can also impair me with ways like freaking oven mitts and blindfold, as has happened earlier this stream. But now my only impairment is sunglasses for a little while, which is like, you know, the smallest impairment. So it's not that big of a deal to do like sunglasses. You got here, so you had to piece together all the weird stuff going on. Yeah, we're doing a 24-hour charity stream for, for Larch as I was... As I was mentioning, which is a not-for-profit, which helps those with developmental disabilities. Because around this time of year, my Taekwondo school would usually do a fundraiser for Larch. Because the master of our dojang very much believes in the importance of... Oh, dang it! Of giving back to the community and such. But because of COVID for the past couple of years, we couldn't really do our whole school-wide fundraisers. But I was like, hey, that doesn't really stop us from, you know, banding together as a community and helping to make a difference and such with sunglasses while blindfolded both were redeemed together at once but you know i took the sunglasses off before putting on the blindfold which is literally just my scarf was the thing but yeah oven mitts we rifle i think guzma told me that once we get to the final boss i'm gonna have to be doing it with oven mitts i think i think we're already going to be doing the final boss with oven mitts is the thing but yeah have it <laughs> Haven't they told you that knights need to be vigilant? Yeah, yeah. Try my best. Freaking, not everybody has the same tools in their arsenal to be vigilant with, is the thing. Wabam! Give me that rupee. But yeah, this red burb is just a pona. It's just bird a pona. I mean, I think that was Dark Souls though. What for, like, oven? Oh, maybe that was? I thought you, but I thought, bleh. I thought you told me to do like oven mitts for like, the final boss of this, unless somebody else did who like donated as well. Pretty sure it was Morris who suggested of for the final boss of Skyward Sword. Oh yeah, I think it was. And, like Mortis had given enough bits to freaking do that as well. So I think we are still queued up to do like of final boss of this game. I uh, think. Did you Gwyn with of think that's its name? Gwyn Lord of Sin or something? Yeah, the final boss of Dark Souls. That took me way too long to finally get that with the unusual phenomenon is taking place in Farron Woods, making it impossible to directly send at the moment. Uh, recenter the thing, thank you. Let's go to Sealed Grounds. I think it's time for Imprisoned 3, which we've already fought several times because of trying to get the Hylian Shield through the boss rush and because it's hero mode 
it just counts all the bosses done already. There might be an immediate cutscene, so just in case we're going to turn off the things. I love how it tells you to press B and then it always does it for you automatically. Is a party going on over here? Monia, bad news. That beast looks like it's about to break free again. Gotta get in position. Hang tight. <laughs> Jeez, I've battled so much against Imprison 3, even earlier this stream, just because of the freaking trying to get this Hylian shield through the boss rush challenge. So maybe, maybe we'll be able to do this with no hit with this. We'll see. <laughs> At this point, with all the practice I've gotten against Imprison 3, hopefully, hopefully I should be good enough for that. Uh, but no need to panic. You know what the Grusinator can do, am I right? Oh, I'm sniffly and I've got allergies to the gruesome air. As long as I'm at the controls of this bombshell beauty, I don't even know what the meaning. I don't even know the meaning of the word defeat. Flinging bombs on this monster's face, defending the land. It's my purpose, I think. That's why I'm here. Anyway, Harmonia, I've got work to do. I'm trying to get in the way of my shots, okay? Okay, welp. Let's get down there. Look how bootyful that Hylian shield durability bar is. The indestructible durability bar. It's bootyful. Isn't it gorgeous? It was the most, it was the freaking biggest pain to get with this controller. Like the freaking biggest pain I've ever had in a freaking Skyward Sword. Maybe ever in a Zelda game. Actually, the biggest pain I've ever had in a Zelda game was trying to get wrong warping to work in Breath of the Wild. That's gonna be way too long. I'm embarrassed about how long. It took me to get the wrong warp. Seeing where Bob going there. Hi. What's up? I fought you a whole bunch of times while trying to get this shield. I'm pretty sure I successfully beat you in one of my... In the run that actually got me this shield. So, like... Should be able to do that. Yeah, we've seen this boss before. Every time he comes back, he comes back a little bit stronger and such. Um, like, initially he just comes out with, like, some feet. Then the second time he comes out with arms. Now he comes out with a tail. Um, well, Logan's finally back. Good thing, too, because I was getting tired of waiting to put a hurting on his ugly mug. Ramonia, let's do this. Your game plan is the same as last time. You know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way real quick. It was like Bravely Default's endgame then? Yeah, except each version is like actually, you know, a kind of different version of the boss instead of just being like, yep, let's just do the exact same thing but like crank up its stats some more and whatnot. This is the thing with Bravely Default 2's, not Bravely Default 2's. You know what I mean. Original Bravely Default. There's no rush. The tail can hit me now, which is a little bit concerning. Which, <clears throat> Why did I just choke on I think I just choked on my own spit. Um, but yeah, and as I found out during that, I can't, like, land on him. I cannot do that. I hated that so much, though. Yeah. The whole situation with that and whatnot. Well, go ahead and go over here. You ready, Gruce? You ready, man? <coughs> Sorry, I'm now coughing and stuff. I could use you to be ready. I could certainly... Oh, you are ready. I didn't even freaking notice because I'm not paying enough attention to things. You're ready this whole time. My goodness. Oh, don't jump off. Don't jump off. No, 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 no. Let's go ahead and finish off this foot here first. Is what we'll do. And then we can... Whoops. Dang it. <laughs> and here I was being like, well, maybe we can do it no hit. Guess not. Guess that's not happening. A lot of people say they don't mind it because the true ending payoff is worth it or something, but yeah, the fact that you've got like a, an insane amount of work to put in to like get to that end game and it's all stuff that you've already done before is a bit like, eh. Speaking of doing stuff that you've done before, I really hope that in the freaking Switch version of this game, hero mode is unlocked by default instead of needing to beat the game first to unlock hero mode. Because I think that's rather silly. Turn you and you're exhausted by not Harmonia level of exhaustion? How what? Maybe I misread things, but I think I might have generally under- I'm facing the wrong way. I'm facing the wrong way here. Stop to smack a you! Okay. Lots of spin attacks and things. Well, welcome back, Mortis. Alright, well, go ahead and get over there. Hopefully it's not the same way with this boss, though. Yeah, with this boss, it's like, what? It's kind of a different variation of the- I have to go all the way over here for this now? Oh, no! Like, he has completely different patterns and such. Well, not completely different, but some new patterns and such that he does only during, like, the later iterations. Like, in Prison 1, just kind of waddles up the path and you have to stop him from doing that. In Prison 2, with the arms, start trying to climb up and you have to, like, shoot him down to stop him from climbing up. And in Prison 3, um, does what would, on paper, seemingly be the most threatening thing of all. Literally just flying up, as he's about to do. 
but in reality, we'll find that it's really not that threatening at all. Um, whoa, this is why did I learn how to fly? Let's head straight for the temple, but there's no way I'm letting it get there. Big Ugly's going down burning. Yeah, as we'll find out, it's really not all that threatening. <laughs> but it is, you know, kind of a different boss battle each time. With the same fundamentals, but, you know, it's not like a Bravery Default kind of situation. Is the thing. Alright, is that it? Man, I thought I was going to put up more of a fight. Somebody should really thank the genius who made this machine. Okay, Harmonia, time to show you- Time for you to go show Big Ugly who's boss. Okay. Let's get down there. Let's get down the thing. Let's get on over here and ram this seal in your freaking head. Yeah, we go show the Big Ugly who's boss. Exactly. And then we're gonna freaking get Groose to try to use his bombs again as the dude tries to fly again. But then he's gonna be like, oh no, my bombs, they're like sealed off. Oh no, this inconvenient rubble. Oh no, not good, the road crumble. I can't get to the rest of my bomb stash. What do I do? Oh no. Mooney, come on to the temple, make your way over here. Hustle up. Okay. Okay. Well, the Shadow of the Colossus looking boss. It does honestly kind of look like that, doesn't it? Which way's the temple? That way, so I guess I'm going this way, I think. Oh, what? I'm losing my mind. Hey, look, a heart. Thanks, heart metal. Thanks, heart metal. I'll grab this other heart, too. Thanks to the, or is it a heart medallion? Whatever, same thing. But yeah, is the spin automatic or fun? What spin? During the, like, while going up the updrafts? Because that's just an automatic thing. If that is what you mean. All right, well, let's go ahead and boopity bop. Hi. Hi, you wanna maybe not? Okay. Okay, look at that. Why? Well, bam, now you're disappointed. Disappointed that it's not like a thing that you can control yourself. Would have been interesting. Mr. Imprisons pierce his tail. Oh, my Wii remote is shaking like crazy. My re re remote, the Wii remote shaking a whole lot. It seems like. Time to go seal Mr. Boss Dude for the third time. This is what we do. Mm. Now, Harmonia, kill him. Strike the ceiling spike with the Skyward Strike and restore the seal quickly. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, you won't need to beat the game in normal. You just need to buy one of her other amiibos for it instead. Honestly. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Tap this amiibo and you unlock hero mode immediately. That honestly sounds exactly like something that they'd freaking do. Wabam! 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 Aha! Uh -huh. Boopity bop! What? Dang, I didn't mean to turn that on. But to answer the question there, Guzma, that's the last time that we fight the imprisoned. But the idea is that, like, the seal can never hold him. And that he'll always keep breaking out a bit more powerful than ever. And more frequently is a thing. So, like, you go through a massive chunk of the game before ever fighting imprisoned one. And then you go through, like, some chunk of the game before fighting imprisoned two. And then it's, like, very shortly after that you fight imprisoned three. So, like, the whole idea is, like, the seal can never hold him. And he comes back more powerful, like, sooner each time. But... Like, in terms of, like, gameplay and the story here, this is the final time that we actually fight the Imprisoned. Yeah, I gotta say, Harmonia, I thought we were goners this time. So I'm glad I was wrong about that. I'm gonna run ahead to the temple. You should get back there, too. But, like, story-wise, even though that's the last time we fight the Imprisoned here, story-wise, the idea is, like, oh, man, he's freaking... He's gonna come out again at, like, a moment's notice. Just you wait. But, yeah. No, that was not the final boss. That was not the final boss there, is the thing. So it's Ganon 2? In a way, I think freaking Ganon is more like the freaking this boss too, technically, story-wise, is the thing. So, I mean, Temple is... Oh, gosh, I went up the complete wrong way. Welp. Well, I haven't saved in a little while. Let's go ahead and save real quick. Let's go ahead and save here really quickly, is what we'll do. But yeah, um, wait, what's going on here? I'm only 4% boosted, apparently. 
Whoa, that was weird. That was a weird little bit of movement we had, wasn't it? What's up there? How will I never knock that down? Oh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, I suppose. Oop. All right, sealed temple. Sealed temple. What do we got going on over here? There's probably going to be an immediate cutscene, so. The beast has been sealed into its prison for a third time. You really suck at putting down seals, Link. Arbonia, Grus, you have both done well. But I fear we can't dwell on your success. The strength of the seal seems to wane with each escape. We are almost out of time, Harmonia. Are you close to discovering the Triforce? Um, I mean... I see. You must seek out the three dragons and complete the Song of the Hero to find the Triforce. It is right your search led you here. The Farron Woods are close by. Unfortunately, there has been an unusual turn of events in the woods. The Smash community arrived, and then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. And then the Rick Rollers came, and... Ugh, it was awful. I'm unsure of what happened, but a short while ago, I noticed the path of the woods was completely flooded. To protect the land here, I closed the gate leading to the woods and drove back the water with a simple seal. The seal will only hold as long as the gate remains closed, meaning you will not be able to open it without flooding these lands. Given this situation, I am at a loss of how you can enter the woods go over the gate. <laughs> Is that all? Consider the problem solved. See, that last battle with Big Ugly got me thinking about other ways to use the Grucinator. Just climb into that bad boy and I'll give you a lift over to the woods, alright? I'll run ahead and get her prepped for you. Come see me when you're ready to take a little flight. Oh my. The boy has made himself very useful. But he does have a tendency to cause trouble for those he helps. Safe journey. I wish you a soft landing, Harmonia. Alrighty, well, time to launch ourselves into the, into the woods. This is what we do. Like, I'll turn on the freaking cameras and chat stuff in a hot second after we launch ourselves into the woods because we're about to, about to do that. But yeah, and Guzma still find, whatever, I'll turn it on now. Uh, still find it interesting that you can name yourself in here. I mean, that's the way that it was in, like, Zelda games until Breath of the Wild, because Breath of the Wild had, like, actual voice-acted cutscenes where the characters needed to refer to the main character as Link. Yeah. Essentially, want to head to Farron Woods, do you? I swear, just hop in the Grucinator, and I'll fling you over. <clears throat> All right, hop in, and I'll take care of the flinging. You just worry about the landing. Because Breath of the Wild was, like, the first, you know... Fully, not fully voice acted, but partially kind of voice acted Zelda. 